Hi, okay, so here we are with the second part of the video. Um, I've got all my images in place now. Um, I've got this image down here too. And I've got um, all my new text. And let's do preview the formatted content. And so here's what the final draft of the newsletter looks like. Um, I've got my little tilde symbols in here. Everything is more or less relatively spaced out. You know, you could really fine-tune this, but I think it's close enough. Um, here we are down here, and that's it. So, um, one thing I want to do before I actually send this newsletter um, is I want to save a copy of this preview, and then I can forward that to someone via email or send it to them via email as an attachment, and they can see what the email is going to look like before we actually send it to hundreds of people. <clears throat> so, here we go. Let's right click and save page as and I'm just going to save this uh, um, that looks fine let's just take this part off and you want to save as type web page HTML only if you do complete it's going to save all the pictures that you're looking at on the site into a folder as well and that's a real pain to send to somebody so just do, use HTML only it will download the images it needs from our web server um, Okay, and I saved that. If I double click this to open it, um, I'm actually opening this in the wrong browser. Tone. Let's find that here. So I'm going to close this, go back here. If I drag this out here, I should be able to open it. Okay, so here, this is the file that I just saved, and of course it looks just like the preview. So I've got my preview that I can use. Um, okay, um, just a moment, I need to uh, reset my um, editor here. Okay, so I got that reset. Here's the, um, the newsletter, and now we're going to click Get Templated HTML Code. And what that's going to do is actually give us the HTML source code for this preview. So the actual code that we're going to need to put into the email newsletter. So I'm going to copy that. Copy. And now I'm going to go to dreamhost.com. And here click customer login. And here you should have an, a username or an email address and a password for getting into Dreamhost. Um, a unique one of your own. If you don't, let us know. Okay, and I'm into DreamHost. I'm going to go down here to Mail. Um, it might look like this when you get in here. Click it, Mail. And then inside that, go to Announce Lists. And here is a list of our newsletters. So there's the Chocolate Canyon Cafe newsletter, the West Seattle one, and then this is a testing list. And we're actually going to use this testing one in this case because I'm not actually ready to send this email. But I'll show you how it's done. So what we're going to do is click edit first of all, just so you can see what the inside of the newsletter looks like. Um, here you can see these are the only people on the subscriber list. So it's just Heather and I. And so consequently, this is a really good way to test without sending to real people. Okay, I'm going to go back to announce lists. Okay, so I want to send my, send my mail. So I'm going to click the mail button next to that newsletter that I want to use. Um, up here, I want to put the correct subject in. And you want to uh, try and take special note when you do this to check that the subject is what you actually want. Uh, we've used the previous newsletter's subject on a couple occasions. Um, it's easy to miss, so pay attention to that. Um, and in this box, I want to paste that HTML source code that was generated over on this page, this stuff. So I've copied it, pasted it in here, and it's very important to check this box, is this HTML. If this isn't checked, then this crazy text and everything is actually what your, um, your folks will see when you send the newsletter. So make sure this is checked, and then click Preview as HTML in a new window. And you can see that this is a preview of what it's going to look like in the average email client. You notice actually we're a little bit too wide 
um, for what they say the average email client width is, but that's getting wider every day, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Okay, so we've got our email all set up. We've got our subject, our templated email content in there, HTML. We check the box, and so we can hit submit announcement now. Okay, and success. Your message to such and such has been successfully sent to our announcement list queue. It will be received within an hour by the list members. So there we go. Um, another thing you can note is that the here is the our current announcement that we're sending. And if you click history next to one of these lists, you can actually see all of the previous emails that we've sent through that list and the number of subscribers that we had at the time that we sent that and the number that bounced. So each time we send some addresses are going to bounce. If a particular address bounces more than five times in a row, then DreamHost will just automatically take it off our subscriber list so, it, so we don't keep getting an accumulation of bounces. Um, and then of course when, when the, the uh, thing sent. So that is basically how you send a newsletter and you will see this will disappear once it's done. You can then go into the history for that one and see how many people were got, got sent to. This looks like it actually just completed right now. So, Okay, so um, that's it.